Hey everyone, welcome to Particles in Motion Part 1A. I mislabeled this, so this is technically video two, but we're going to call it 1A so I don't have to redo everything. Uh, today we're going to be determining when a particle is at rest. Okay, so this is Nicholas JMV. Pretty simple example. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, it says given x of t, so that's our position function, t cubed minus 3t plus 2, where t is greater than 0, determine where the particle is at rest. Okay, so the particle's at rest, okay, when v of t, that is velocity, is equal to 0. Okay, so let's look. v of t is equal to x prime of t, right? So let's take the first derivative of our function. That's going to be 3t squared minus 3. We just talked about the particle is going to be at rest when the velocity is equal to 0. So set the velocity equal to 0, and I'm going to factor out the 3 here. So I have t squared minus 1. Now, this is a difference of two squares pattern, so I'd have 3 times t plus 1 times the quantity t minus 1. So in this case, t equals plus or minus 1. However, what did we say about the domain? t has to be greater than 0. So there's only one answer here. It's at t equals 1. The t is at 1. After one second, the particle is at rest. Why? Because the velocity is 0. So if you have any questions or comments on how to find where particles at rest, go ahead and type them below. We'll see you next time.